Personalism is a philosophical school of thought searching to describe the uniqueness of one. God is supreme person or two a human person in the world of nature, specifically in relation to animals. One of the main points of interest of personalism is human subjectivity or self-consciousness, experienced in a person's own acts and inner happenings—in everything in the human being that is internal, whereby each human being is an eyewitness of its own self. Other principles Persons have unique value, and only persons have free will according to idealism there is one more principle only persons are real in the ontological sense topic <inaudible> overview writing in the stanford encyclopedia of philosophy noted scholar thomas d williams cites a plurality of schools holding to a personalist ethic and Weltanschauung, arguing, Personalism exists in many different versions, and this makes it somewhat difficult to define as a philosophical and theological movement. Many philosophical schools have at their core one particular thinker or even one central work which serves as a canonical touchstone. Personalism is a more diffused and eclectic movement and has no such universal reference point. It is, in point of fact, more proper to speak of many personalisms than one personalism. In 1947 Jacques Maritain could write that there are at least a dozen personalist doctrines, which at times have nothing more in common than the word person. Moreover, because of their emphasis on the subjectivity of the person and their ties to phenomenology and existentialism, some dominant forms of personalism have not lent themselves to systematic treatises. It is perhaps more proper to speak of personalism as a current or a broader worldview, since it represents more than one school or one doctrine while at the same time the most important forms of personalism do display some central and essential commonalities. Most important of the latter is the general affirmation of the centrality of the person for philosophical thought. Personalism posits ultimate reality and value in personhood—human as well as at least for most personalists divine. It emphasizes the significance, uniqueness and inviolability of the person, as well as the person's essentially relational or communitarian dimension. The title «personalism» can therefore legitimately be applied to any school of thought that focuses on the reality of persons and their unique status among beings in general, and personalists normally acknowledge the indirect contributions of a wide range of thinkers throughout the history of philosophy who did not regard themselves as personalists. Personalists believe that the human person should be the ontological and epistemological starting point of philosophical reflection. They are concerned to investigate the experience, the status, and the dignity of the human being as person, and regard this as the starting point for all subsequent philosophical analysis. Thus, according to Williams, one ought to keep in mind that although there may be dozens of theorists and social activists in the West adhering to the rubric, personalism, their particular foci may, in fact, be asymptotic, and even diverge at material junctures. <inaudible> Berdyaev's personalism Nikolai Alexandrovich Berdyaev was a Russian religious and political philosopher who emphasized human freedom, subjectivity and creativity. Monier's personalism In France, philosopher Emmanuel Monier was the leading proponent of personalism, around which he founded the Revue Esprit, which exists to this day. Under Jean-Marie Dominoc's direction, it criticized the use of torture during the Algerian War. Personalism was seen as an alternative to both liberalism and Marxism, which respected human rights and the human personality without indulging in excessive collectivism. Monier's personalism had an important influence in France, including in political movements, such as Marc Sagnier's Ligue de la Jeune République Young Republic League founded in 1912. A Jewish antifascist, Ziv Sternhol, has identified personalism with fascism in a very controversial manner, claiming that Monier's personalism movement shared ideas and political reflexes with fascism." He argued that Monier's "...revolt against individualism and materialism," would have led him to share the ideology of fascism. <laughs> Catholic personalism 
Following on the writings of Dorothy Day, a distinctively Christian personalism developed in the 20th century. Its main theorist was the Polish philosopher Karol Wojtyla, later Pope John Paul II. In his work, Love and Responsibility, first published in 1960, Wojtyla proposed what he termed the personalistic norm. This norm, in its negative aspect, states that the person is the kind of good which does not admit of use and cannot be treated as an object of use and as such the means to an end. In its positive form the personalistic norm confirms this, the person is a good towards which the only proper and adequate attitude is love. This brand of personalism has come to be known as Thomistic because of its efforts to square modern notions regarding the person with the teachings of Thomas Aquinas. Washtilla was influenced by the ethical personalism of German phenomenologist Max Scheler. A first principle of Christian personalism is that persons are not to be used, but to be respected and loved. In Gaudium et Spes, the Second Vatican Council formulated what has come to be considered the key expression of this personalism. Man is the only creature on earth that God willed for its own sake and he cannot fully find himself except through a sincere gift of himself. This formula for self-fulfillment offers a key for overcoming the dichotomy frequently felt between personal realization and the needs or demands of social life. Personalism also implies interpersonalism, as Benedict XVI stresses in Caritas in Veritate. As a spiritual being, the human creature is defined through interpersonal relations. The more authentically he or she lives these relations, the more his or her own personal identity matures. It is not by isolation that man establishes his worth, but by placing himself in relation with others and with God. Boston personalism Personalism flourished in the early 20th century at Boston University in a movement known as Boston personalism led by theologian Borden Parker Bone. Bone emphasized the person as the fundamental category for explaining reality and asserted that only persons are real. He stood in opposition to certain forms of materialism which would describe persons as mere particles of matter. For example, against the argument that persons are insignificant specks of dust in the vast universe, Bone would say that it is impossible for the entire universe to exist apart from a person to experience it. Ontologically speaking, the person is larger than the universe because the universe is but one small aspect of the person who experiences it. Personalism affirms the existence of the soul. Most personalists assert that God is real and that God is a person or as in Christian Trinitarianism, three persons, although it is important to note that the non-standard meaning of the word person in this theological context is significantly different from Bone's usage. Bone also held that persons have value see axiology, value theory, and ethics. In declaring the absolute value of personhood, he stood firmly against certain forms of philosophical naturalism including social Darwinism which sought to reduce the value of persons. He also stood against certain forms of positivism which sought to render ethical and theological discourse meaningless and dismiss talk of God a priori. Georgia Harkness was a major Boston personalist theologian. Francis John McConnell was a major second-generation advocate of Boston personalism who sought to apply the philosophy to social problems of his time. <laughs> <laughs> California personalism George Holmes Howison taught a metaphysical theory called personal idealism or California personalism. Howison maintained that both impersonal, monistic idealism and materialism run contrary to the moral freedom experienced by persons. To deny the freedom to pursue the ideals of truth, beauty, and benignant love is to undermine every profound human venture, including science, morality, and philosophy. Thus, even the personalistic idealism of Borden Parker Bone and Edgar S. Brightman and the realistic personal theism of Thomas Aquinas are inadequate, for they make finite persons dependent for their existence upon an infinite person and support this view by an unintelligible doctrine of creatio ex nihilo. The personal idealism of Howison was explained in his book The Limits of Evolution and other essays illustrating the metaphysical theory of personal idealism. Howison created a radically democratic notion of personal idealism that extended all the way to God, who was no more the ultimate monarch, no longer the only ruler and creator of the universe, but the ultimate democrat in eternal relation to other eternal persons. 
Howison found few disciples among the religious, for whom his thought was heretical. The non religious, on the other hand, considered his proposals too religious. Only J. M. E. McTaggart's idealist atheism or Thomas Davidson's apiritheism seemed to resemble Howison's personal idealism. <laughs> Antecedents and influence Philosopher Immanuel Kant, though not formally considered a personalist, made an important contribution to the personalist cause by declaring that a person is not to be valued merely as a means to the ends of other people, but that he possesses dignity and absolute inner worth and is to be valued as an end in himself. Catholic philosopher and theologian John Henry Newman, has been posited as a main proponent of personalism by John Crosby of Franciscan University in his book Personalist Papers. Crosby notes Newman's personal approach to faith, as outlined in Grammar of Ascent as a main source of Newman's personalism. Martin Luther King Jr. was greatly influenced by personalism in his studies at Boston University. King came to agree with the position that only personality is real. It solidified his understanding of God as a personal God. It also gave him a metaphysical basis for his belief that all human personality has dignity and worth. Paul Ricoeur explicitly sought to support personalist movement by developing its theoretical foundation and expanding it with a new personalist social ethic. Three, however, he later had significant disagreements with Mornier and criticized other personalist writers for insufficient conceptual clarity. Ricoeur also disagreed with the other personalists in asserting the significance of justice as a value in its own right and gave this primary in the public sphere, whereas Mornier characterized all relationships including public and political ones in terms of love and friendship. Pope John Paul II was also influenced by the personalism advocated by Christian existentialist philosopher Soren Kierkegaard. Before his election to the Roman papacy, he wrote Person and Act sometimes mistranslated as the acting person, a philosophical work suffused with personalism. Though he remained well within the traditional stream of Catholic social and individual morality, his explanation of the origins of moral norms, as expressed in his encyclicals on economics and on sexual morality, for instance, was largely drawn from a personalist perspective. His writings as Roman pontiff, of course, influenced a generation of Catholic theologians since who have taken up personalist perspectives on the theology of the family and social order. Notable personalists See also Personalist Labor Revolutionary Party Can Lao Party, a South Vietnamese party founded and led by Go Dinh Nhu for use as an instrument of control for the presidency of his brother Go Dinh Diem Charles Liebman on Jewish personalism Existential Thomism Francisco Rolau Preto Juan Manuel Burgos Christian and Atheistic Existentialism Speculative Theism the Personalist, a journal dedicated to personalism from about 1920 to 1979, now the Pacific Philosophical Quarterly. Topic Notes. Topic Citations. Topic. Further reading Topic. External links Personalism. Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Personalism, a critical introduction by Rufus Burrow Emmanuel Monnier and Personalism Personalism, a brief account Department of Philosophy, University of Central Florida, includes link to Personalism Bibliography Personalism Magazine, Lublin, Poland History of Personalism, Acton Institute, also articles on economic personalism Who is my neighbor? Personalism and the Foundations of Human Rights by Thomas D. Williams A Presentation of Personalism by Bogomil Gakka